Hi guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to review for you our language arts curriculum. But it's not just your ordinary language arts curriculum. This curriculum has more than one subject in the course guide. So stay with me to see what it is and what subjects are included. So before I found the Good and the Beautiful curriculum, school went a little bit like this. Kaylee! them back in school. Now that we found this curriculum, our school looks more like this. Okay guys, so that was our little commercial for the good and the beautiful curriculum. Um, so now here's the review and I'm going to take you on a sneak peek inside the book and see what it's really like. Alright, so this is level one language arts curriculum for the good and the beautiful. It comes with a reader, just skim through it here. So it starts off with simple sentences and by the end they're reading a little bit more complicated stories. <clears throat> okay. It comes with phonics cards. This is a curriculum that we are using. My son finished his level one reader and we're now doing our own reader. He finished his phonics cards and he finished his spelling words. So now we're just focusing on the language arts course book. Now you can get this curriculum printed out. Some of them are free, some of the levels are free. And, um, but you can also purchase it very affordably, spiral bound already, okay? so. You get, on the website, you can get a test for the child to determine which level that they are in. And it doesn't really go by grade. This is an advanced curriculum. So level one would be probably advanced first grade, maybe first, second. Um, the reader, my son is on third or fourth grade reading level, so he I did have him read it, he got through it fairly quickly, and then I moved him up to just reading books that were more his reading level. So, at a glance, I'll move you closer here. You can see that it focuses on phonics and reading, grammar usage and punctuation, literature, spelling and writing, and art. So we do not need a separate curriculum for all those subjects. This is a daily checklist for level one. They read their reader for 10 minutes out loud or on their own. <clears throat> they practice their spelling words for 5 to 10 minutes. Practice their phonics cards for 5 minutes. Practice their sight word ladders for 5 minutes. And complete 30 to 40 minutes in the course book. They also have to work on poetry memorization one to two times a week. You can see for yourself all the grammar and art and poetry at this age there's not a lot of independent writing but you'll see more inside there are 91 lessons and there are opportunities for writing if you see here where it says just lost it writers workshop so the beginning of all the course books has how to use this course, what it covers, the overview, questions that may be answered. <clears throat> it talks about the principles behind the course. It's easy to teach with no preparation time. Connects multiple subjects. Emphasizes on the good and, beautif and the beautiful God, family, nature, and high moral character. 
focuses on high quality literature, creates excellent writers and editors. Has the commonly asked questions here, if it follows common core standards, which it does not, but it's, be, it's above and beyond many public school standards, but not in the same order of what they're learning. Um, the educational philosophies, any, does it co cover any doctrine specific to any Christian denomination? It says no. Uh, the goal of the Good and the Beautiful curriculum is not to teach doctrine specific to a particular Christian sect, but to teach general principles of moral character such as honesty and kindness. I know a lot of people have questions about that. This is what it includes for the course. Talks about the reader, how to get started, how to teach each day what to do for spelling, making it work with multiple children. So the phonics cards, you color in an animal once you get past this, these cards. It tells you how to organize the phonics cards. The same thing with the sight words. It shows you how to teach the sight words. You, they color an animal after they finish each list. My son has finished all of the sight words. Here are his sight words the list. You get a check mark to show that they are mastered. And here's all the sight words. Okay, and then spelling words. It shows you how to teach the spelling words. Okay, and then here's the spelling words. They get to color an animal when they're done. Okay, these are all the charts. There's six charts of spelling words. Poetry memorization. When they memorize poems, they color an animal. They read it to three people. They write the title there. And even though we've done three, we're still doing more. And this has some poems here that they can memorize. And throughout the whole book, there's lots of more poems. If they like one, they can memorize those. All right, <clears throat> here's the first lesson. Vowels, consonants, short and long vowels. Tells you what to do and how to check it off, what to read, exactly what to do, so you don't need to prepare it ahead of time at all. Some of the lessons are short or just a page in the beginning. As you move on into the middle, here's a sample of the artwork. They do picture study, and you learn. They learn about an artist, and there's questions asked, and they get to draw, do some art of their own, and practice that. There's cut and paste activities in the book. Okay, there's game, you know, some like little games in the books too. In the book, this is a poetry lesson where they have to read poetry, different letter sounds. Okay, so we have types of sentences, some more art. <clears throat> How to decode challenging words. They get to edit, edit these articles. It teaches them how to edit. Okay, so it's beginning editing. They read this and then they edit it and then the answers are down here. Oh, and there's reading assessments in the back. A bunch of different ones and review charts and they're reviewed multiple times and shows you how to do commas and everything so this is an excellent excellent curriculum okay so this is the level one of the good and the beautiful now for level two I'm gonna briefly show you the rest of them so this video is not too long because you get the main idea there and I believe all the levels are similar level two is not unboxed yet but it has the reader, I can open it, the readers here, the recommended books, and I'll un open this real quick so that you guys can see what level two looks like and then I'll let you skim through level three. Let's look at this, this is the first time I look at it. So it's similar as far as the, the at a glance and what it at this one now moving to level two now it starts teaching geography as well so I don't need a geography curriculum so let's see if we can find a sample geography lesson here this has 123 lessons okay so here's some geography so here he'll have to um, he learns God's plan for our world. Here's a basic map. He's got to draw a four floor plan of the main level of his house. Um, talks about the consonants. Here's a poem. Here's a map that he'll have to label. 
and then it goes into language arts the next day. So it mixes it up so that every day you're not doing the same thing. And I really love doing this curriculum, guys. It's we finally we've been searching for curriculum for five years because I've been homeschooling my daughter for since she was in kindergarten, and we finally found something that has. And you know, I don't have to have a hundred different curriculums, a hundred different books. You know, I'm exaggerating, but I don't need five different curriculums: reading, writing, spelling, math, geography. You know, I don't have to have all of that because it's all in one course book here, and it teaches it so well that I know they're not lacking anything and I know that they're actually above and more advanced than kids their age when they're following along and learning these things. So I highly, highly recommend this language arts program. It's great to minimize the amount of work you have to do, especially if you have more than one child. You don't have to prepare anything. You just open up the book to where you left off, follow the instructions on how to teach, and you're good to go. Okay, so by the end of level two, they will be reading this short story. Okay, so let me briefly show you level three. Okay, so level three comes with a course companion. And in this course companion are map keys, daily checklist, and the map keys of the maps that they're using shows you how to you do your spelling and then it has all the charts of all the spelling words for level three also active spelling ideas practice ideas and spelling rules and some more poems in the back for them to memorize so here's level three covers grammar uses punctuation phonics reading literature and writing mm -hmm geography and art, the table of contents, again same stuff as a <clears throat> reading assessment, okay different practices, got some artwork, what makes a book worth reading to just try to highlight important information. Uh, geography, labeling the map, now she knows all the countries and those different areas. Okay, so guys, like I said, we really love this curriculum. We have, I'll do the rest of the reviews for the rest of it because we have chosen this curriculum for all of our needs. I wasn't going to go with a, one company this year for a curriculum, but I fell in love with all of the subjects and so I ended up going with it with the good and the beautiful for all of the subjects and there you have it the good and the beautiful language arts program language arts and literature geography art poetry writing all in one and spelling so highly considered this guys I will post the link to Jenny's website below and hope you guys enjoy that and we'll see you next time